Hello everyone and welcome to Polymer Clay Renaissance Wax. I wanted to show this product because I use this on baked clay and I use it quite a bit on beads where I don't really want to have to varnish, I just want to give them a sheen um, and if I've been careful and use my latex gloves for rolling the beads, um, not everyone likes to wear these I understand but there's, there's also the finger cots you can get which Valerie Mellors of the Unruly Housewife has um, shown before, very good and well worth the money. But I like to use the gloves because I can roll the beads in my hand and I don't get any marks on them. And then uh, it saves an awful lot of time, I believe, in the sanding. Um, sometimes I might just do a very quick sand on them, sometimes I won't do any sanding and I just use this product, of which for a little 65ml pot, I've probably had this about two years and... That's all I've used, very little. It's obviously used more so in the furniture um, industry as it gives a very, very good protective coat, but um, it can also be used on plastic, of which polymer clay obviously is. So um, this is just a very plain baked piece of clay, nothing special, just black. I did use my gloves when I was doing this just to ensure that I didn't get any sort of greasy marks on it and it's, I don't really want to have to sort of sand it, but you can if you want to, but I'm just going to do half a coat, just a little piece of um, t-shirt with the Renaissance wax, and I'll just do one side so you can see, and it really is a slither, there's really an awful, not a lot you have to put on there at all, and I'm just going to rub it on the top, just on one side, just so as you can see, and that's given it a coat already, and you can see there's already a slight sheen to that. And then I'm just going to give it a buff with a piece of denim. And you can do this quite lightly or quite vigorously, depending on what your piece is. I find that when I'm doing beads, and I will show you that tool in a minute, I use a tool which is very similar to a Dremel, only because I find it a little bit easier to hold the bead and use the Dremel tool. But I have used just a piece of denim before, and it's worked just as well. And that really is about as much as you need to do if that's the sort of shine you like. But hopefully you can see, yes, you can see now there you've got just the matte finish there and then you've got this nice sheen. And it really does give a lovely coat and also it protects the clay. And also I have found that if I've looked at a piece of jewellery and I thought, you know, that could do with another buff, then you can. You can rebuff it. Whether you want to add another bit of Renaissance wax is up to you, but I would again recommend that you use a very, very small amount. And like I say, for beads, I use this sort of tool, and most people have got Dremels. Mine's a Clark, but there's no real difference. And this is just a wool burr. These I got from Cooks and Gold. I think they were probably a couple of pound each. And I think I've used this one's probably been in here months. Um, but yeah, and I just use this on my beads more so just for easy, I find it a bit easier to hold and that gives a really lovely sheen to that. There is probably lots of videos out there how to use this on polymer clay because you don't want to go too harsh with this because it can sort of score it, but um, that's for another day. I just wanted to show you, like I say, the benefits of this lovely little pot, which is only 65 mil. I will leave some links below um, for you to be able to buy it here in the UK and also in America. And um, I'd like to also take the opportunity to thank everyone that's subscribed so far. And if you like this video, please do the thumbs up. And um, I hope to see you again soon and with another product and a little bit of information for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.